There are plenty of reasons why you might want to use systems furniture in your office, but there are also some pretty important issues that you need to keep in mind. Let's take a look. If you're new here, we do videos on all things office related, from reviews to tutorials and everything in between. Subscribe to our channel today and hit the bell notification to be notified every time we release a new video. This video is going to cover what is systems furniture, some of the problems and solutions associated with them, whether or not systems furniture is right for you, and the next steps you can take. By the end of this video, you should be aware of all of the problems with systems furniture and the solutions for them. Systems furniture used to be referred to as the cubicle, but thanks to companies like Google and various startups, cubicles are once again growing in popularity. The cubicles of today are much more stylish, customizable, and have been proven to increase productivity and office morale. These highly customizable workstations have several obvious benefits. Increased collaboration, more versatile, more aesthetically pleasing, they reduce costs, and they increase your flexibility in your layout. But what kind of potential problems do these modular workstations pose for your employees and your business? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I'm ready. Like it's just rolling. It's rolling. Once the office revolution began, there was a push to boost employee well being and promote collaboration. This led to a more open concept office plan, leading to a lack of privacy and focus. Employees might find it difficult to make private phone calls and to focus on their important tasks. A great way to improve auditory privacy is through the use of sound masking. Sound masking digitally emits pink noise that matches the frequency of human speech. This results in a soft sound evenly distributed through the use of special speakers. To improve visual privacy, you can install several privacy areas throughout your office. These could include a private office, a quiet lounge, a soundproof booth with glass walls, and high adjustable panels. Your employees will love having several areas nearby where they can go for privacy. Systems furniture can be really difficult to configure on your own. There are so many options and so many different ways that systems furniture can go together that you really need to be aware of exactly what you need. For example, you could end up with a left-handed person sitting at a desk configured for right-handed use. You could also end up with panels of different heights. What if there's no supports underneath your desk? That would be a really big issue. What if you wanted seated privacy, but you ordered the wrong panel height? So then your panels are down here, but your face is up here. To solve this, make sure you always hire an expert who knows exactly what they're doing. Try to plan for spaces that are non-handed. Additionally, try to incorporate pieces that can be easily added or subtracted as your users' needs change. The lighting, ceiling, and ventilation systems may not always complement your system's furniture. This could lead to delays in installation and delays in work. Wiring configurations may change between manufacturers. New wiring may be required to fit with your system's furniture power infeeds. To solve this, know what type of power is available to you in your office building. Also take a good count of how many employees are going to be using the space, how many computers they have, and how much equipment is going to be plugged into the system's furniture. Panel creep is the extra inches that is added to a panel run due to the connections between each panel. If the system's furniture that you select has panel creep and you haven't accounted for that extra space, your furniture just simply will not fit. To solve this, be sure that you have more than enough space for your system's furniture between any fixed surface. Also, be sure to measure the thickness of the panels to account for those.
When selecting systems furniture, there's a few things to keep in mind. What are your occupants' needs and wants? Is your team expanding or is space limited? Do you require auditory or visual privacy? Do you need height adjustable furniture? What about storage space? And how many computers are gonna be plugged into this space? Answering these questions can help you determine if systems furniture is right for you and your business. When people enjoy where they work, they're more likely to stay long-term and grow within the company. And remember, when it comes to systems furniture, measure twice and plan ahead. So what should you do next? Come to our showroom and check out all of our systems furniture on display. We have varying options to meet your office needs. Check out our other videos on systems furniture or jump on over to our online learning center to learn more. You can also schedule a call with one of our systems furniture experts and we would be happy to help you answer any questions or concerns you may have about systems furniture. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment, please. Have a great day. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>